So the storage card. Oh my God. <laughs> um, wow. What a fucking clusterfuck. Let me say that. This, I don't even know how long the rest of the video is going to be. This section just might be on its own. This decision to have a Seagate proprietary NVMe SSD that, as this person put it right here, ARC 1391, oh no, is that a proprietary shell on that? Yikes. Yeah, yikes. Yikes, 100 fucking percent. Yeah, 120, 150, 250 fucking percent. Yikes. Why? Why is this here? Are, is, does Microsoft want to kill their console? Do they want to just be like, hey, fuck you guys, just get a PC. We've built this incredible hardware for you to not buy. Why? Why? This is the stupidest decision. This is a stupid decision. And if anybody, anybody who's a, a if you're an, a Microsoft or Xbox fanboy, and you look at this, and you go, oh, this is, this is, this is a good decision, then you loved the PS2's memory sticks, right? You loved the GameCube's memory sticks. Did you? Or did you have, I don't know, maybe a little hesitation with a company making a proprietary storage system that you can only use with that hardware specifically? So if they make the next Series 2X, Series X2, Series X3, whatever their next consoles are going to be, are they going to have that proprietary NVMe SSD with Seagate? Who knows? Who knows? There's two other companies working together to make a product that benefits them both. Well, what if Seagate puts all this money and effort in doing this for Microsoft, and then the Series X doesn't fucking sell? <gasps> or what, what if people just buy... Uh, don't even care about the NVMe, don't even care about, like, it can't use Xbox Series uh, fucking, uh, it can't play Series X and Series S games on there, it can only play Xbox One games if you have a, a four terabyte, say, external SSD you plug in through a USB. <laughs> okay, is that going to stop people from, then people won't play the fucking games, and if they want to play a next-gen game, they'll get a computer that plays it. That could be a possibility, right? It'd be a complete possibility that someone's going to be like, oh boy, I really want to want to get this. And they're looking at this going, oh wow, system that comes with one terabyte, $600. Well, Battlefront 2 is like, what, 120, 140? Uh, what is it? Call of Duty Modern Warfare, isn't that like with Warzone 160-ish? That's almost, that's 300 gigabytes with two fucking games. One terabyte? Damn, that's going to be gone by the end of the calendar year. You're going to upload three or four Xbox One games and then one or two newer next-gen games. And as soon as you try to download Valhalla, you're like, oh, shit, I've got 30 gigabytes left. So that $600 gets you almost nothing when it's pure gaming. But then these are also supposed to be multimedia creation things. You know, there's a share button. There's there promoting a little bit as far as the Sony side that you should be able to just record, edit, play, upload, stream right there off in the PS5. No need to hook up another computer for it. Where are you going to hold all those video storage? Where, where are all those video files going to be? How many gigabytes, how many terabytes is that going to be if you're an actual content creator? If you're someone like um, Tyrone Magnus, Tyrone Magnus is getting an Xbox Series X. Uh, so if you're Tyrone Magnus and you're getting an Xbox Series X and you're like, oh, wow, I'm going to upload stuff, you still need an external uh, storage for all your video files. You can't put it all on there with your fucking games. No way. No fucking way can you do that. You're going to run out of so much storage and then you're going to be stuck with, with what? With this. You're going to be stuck with this. Now, we don't have a price point for it. Let's be real. It's an NVMe SSD. PCIe Gen 4.0, I should assume. It's an NVMe SSD. One terabyte for $100? I doubt. <laughs> 150 for a terabyte? Now, can I see 100 for 500 gigabytes and 150 for a terabyte? Yeah. Yeah. And then there's a terabyte of storage that you can't put into your own computer or any other system unless Microsoft says you can. That's dumb. That's dumb. That's really fucking dumb. I don't care what anybody says. 
you know, you can make arguments on like, oh, why is something at a specific price point? And, you know, oh, this is what its real value is. Oh, here's, here's, here's the uh, real world application in case you're not seeing it. I understand an external storage unit. I understand Microsoft teaming up with uh, Seagate to have some sort of better storage system than Sony because Sony's doing their own weird in-house stuff that's making the load times and everything really fantastic. So of course they're going to work with Seagate to make get something right off the market, hit the ground running with some shit. Of course, that makes sense. But to combine those ideas into this, into this right here, that's dumb. That's really dumb. Because then you're also going to be buying these, say, say it is 100 for 500 gigabytes and 150 for a terabyte. Say you buy two of those one terabytes, it's $300. Do those resell? What's the resell value? Well, brand new with factory warranties, however long those are going to be, between one to three years, you get it for $150. So how much is that warranty worth for storage and stuff for someone? 10 bucks, 20 bucks. So maybe that one terabyte that you've already bought has already devalued more than 10% instantly. Well, what happens if the system doesn't sell? What if it doesn't sell? Okay, it's going to sell. What if it doesn't sell well? What if it's literally like reviewers buying them? What if in most households, it's literally a one to five or a one to 10 ratio of people buying next gen Xboxes and next gen PlayStations? Not just Series X to PS5. Series X and Series S to PS5 and PS5 Digital. What if it's a 1 to 5 or a 1 to 10 ratio? What's the future of this? Is Seagate going to stick around to do this? Is Seagate going to put all of these money and, and resources into this thing that's just not panning out? I don't think so. And it's not up to Microsoft. If Seagate just wants to pull out and just like, hey, you know what? Dude, we're out. This is not worth the money for us. We're putting so much effort into designing this for you. Nobody's fucking buying them. Uh, they have nothing but bad reviews because of people don't like the fact that it's a proprietary shell on a storage that should you should be able to plug in fucking anywhere else. It's a really bad idea. It's really off-putting to gamers. For me, my PS4, when was the moment that I decided my PS4 and the proprietary bullshit was too much? Well, I tried to buy a Nyko bank for external st for more storage. Went to GameStop, said, "Hey, does this work for it?" GameStop was like, "Yeah, absolutely." You know, you know, it, it, and he went through the back instructions. And I was just like, "Yeah, I can go through that." Just I was just asking, like, I know you're selling it in the store, but you know, Sony's weird. Does is, is this work with their system? Yeah, of course. Yeah, look at right here. It says sold. You know. Uh, you know, it says works for PS4. PS4, I believe the Slim was out and, and Pro was out as well. So it said works for PS4 and, you know, all of its cons uh, uh, other consoles. I went home, didn't work. I had everything right. I, I looked it up online. They, they, I came up with, uh, they said call Sony support for help. I even looked up online and it said people had them that worked. I called Sony. Well, we don't support fourth party or a, th a third party uh, uh, component that goes on our PS4, any kind of peripherals like that. Only ones that are Sony exclusive or sold by Sony. Then I was like, wait a second. But GameStop sold it. Like, GameStop sold it with it saying it, it's on PS4. So, how? How, did, how are you allowing, how are you? Allowing another company, Nyko, to manufacture a product that they're saying states works with your system, but you say it doesn't because you don't want it to work with your system. How are you doing that? Like, and why am I paying it? And then isn't that false advertising from Nyko? Isn't it also kind of false advertising for them to say it works for PS4 and then you as the company don't say or do anything, but you're fully aware that it doesn't work with it? That's bad business practices. That turns me off from Sony. It turned me off completely from them. I haven't gotten a PS4 Pro as much as I'd like one. I sure shit will not be buying one brand new from them. It's, it's off-putting, to say the least. And there's so many better ways to do this. Like, th 
the way that this is going about with next gen, it's at every fucking turn, it's Microsoft has to do one or two things just to stay afloat and hope Sony doesn't do A, B, or C that puts them under. It, this, the ball is constantly in Sony's court. Microsoft gets it and then just goes, it doesn't want to score any points. They just want to run out the clock thinking like, yeah, we've got enough points with how badass our system is. It's like a useless block is still a useless block. You know, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't have these three things here, oh, oh, there we go. If you don't have, you know, with the Game Pass, you can play it on PC. The price that it's at is an expensive fucking system. And this thing, it's like, with these three things, they need to be on point with their exclusives, which they fell behind last season. You can't deny that Xbox One's exclusives are the worst out of any of them. Nintendo has nothing but exclusives. And Sony has the best. I don't care. You can love Breath of the Wild. I love Breath of the Wild. You can love Mario Odyssey. I love Mario Odyssey. They're not better than God of War. Spider-Man's an incredible game. Bloodborne and Ghost of Tsushima and uh, Sekiro are fucking incredible. Okay, Sekiro I haven't played. I mean, sorry. Ghost of Tsushima I haven't played. Sekiro's incredible. Bloodborne's incredible. Don't get me started on Horizon or Persona or insert every other fucking exclusive that they have that is bomb. Yeah. And Microsoft does have some cool ones. Ori is an incredible platformer. Incre I thought I loved Hollow Knight and then I played Ori and I went, wow, I really do love platformers. I need to get back into them. But I'm playing it right now on my computer, you know, and they're making a whole big deal of like, oh, you can play Ori at... 120 frames <laughs> unlocked frames like i'm playing it at 144 frames 2k on my computer right now <laughs> and my computer is really not much more expensive than an xbox but guess what my computer can also do computing stuff like computer stuff like open up word and run emulators right right easy web browsing yeah 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 it's just it's so stupid this would this this card would literally need to be at such a discount it would need to be for me to say this is a good idea this extra ssd slot it would need to literally be 50 dollars for a terabyte then i can justify buying them because that's that's a good deal that's half the price of what an ssd would be for a computer you know but it's like microsoft did this and released the game pass it's like dude the game pass basically said you don't need our hardware this just confirms it this just confirms you don't need the fucking hardware. And there's better solutions to this. And Sony, you know, everyone's going, oh, Sony doesn't have a solution. Sony doesn't need a solution. Sony's solution is the Biden approach. They are winning by not being the opposing party. That's it. It's, all they have to do is shut their mouth and ride out the clock. And, and Microsoft keeps throwing the ball to them. So Sony gets to tell you whatever the fuck they want to tell you. Right? Do, do you actually know of all of the stuff behind the scenes on the cooling and how much slower or faster it's going to be than the Series X? We don't really have any good comparisons because Sony hasn't really come out with the specs like Microsoft has. But Sony doesn't need to. <laughs> you know, Microsoft released their specs and then did all this stupid shit. And Sony's just like, okay, back up, hold everything off, let's price it aggressively. Let's see if there's things we need to or don't need to do. Let's not do more than we need to, but let's do exactly what we need to do. That's exactly what Sony's doing right now. You know, do they need backwards compatibility? No. No. They need it with the PS4, yes. Would it be incredible to have it with PS2 and PS1? Yeah, I, I doubt it. I think they'll re-release stuff on either PS Now or on the PlayStation Store for PS5. PS3, is that going to have an emulator? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you tried to run an emulator on the hardware the Series X has, if you can consistently run PS3 games without problems. Any game. That, that would probably take months to a year of real innovation from the studios, kind of 
touching up games, making sure that they work better, or if it they really is just an emulator, then it's just a hardware that's powerful enough to run it, which we're not sure if the PS5 is or not. But does any of that matter? No. It doesn't. If you're uh, a Sony fan, it doesn't. If you're looking for a next-gen console, it doesn't. It really doesn't matter at all. And Sony's whole uh, response to this is you can take out our 800-something gigabyte NVMe and put your own in. Okay, well, a 2 terabyte PCIe Gen 4, if it is Gen 4, if it's not Gen 3, if it's Gen 3, it doesn't matter. Just get a good NVMe with good read and write speeds. Uh, you can get one for like a terabyte around 120. You know, 130, you can get like the Samsung one on sale, the Evo sometimes. You can get a WD for 130, constantly on sale. 120, no problems. The WD Black. You can get it for like 70 bucks for a 500 gigabyte. Of course you get one for 130. Two terabyte for like 250? Yeah. But if that's a two terabyte for 250 that works in PCs that you can put in your PS5, why would Microsoft charge 150 possibly for a one terabyte? Why would they charge anything less or anything more than 100 for a terabyte? Because they just want their system to fail. It's the only reason I can think of. And that's literally Sony's, ex like Sony's solution is just like, yeah, you can replace it if you want. If you want. Like, we're not going to stop you. You know, you'll probably go through factory warranty, open up the system, but we're not going to stop you. We're not going to say you can't or not leave that option for you or not make it easier. And Microsoft just did the ass backwards solution of like, yeah, no, we want more money from you guys. And a lot of consumers going, yikes, I don't think so. And then, I, and then I see stuff like this one, and then I dread to think the cost of this, but it'll still be a day one purchase for me. Why? Why is it going to be a day one purchase for you? Because you need an Xbox? No, you don't. Do you have a PC? How are you typing this? On your computer? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking buy an RDNA 2 GPU. Wait for all the GPUs to come out and get a 2080 Ti for maybe possibly like four or $500. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who fucking knows? Right? We don't know what the PC market's going to look like because the hardware that's in here is also coming to PC and changing a lot of the market as far as GPU-wise. CPU, AMD is already, like, Intel's fucked on that end. GPUs, I mean, Ampere is using a lot more power. If they can kind of get anywhere close to their performance with the same power consumption of a uh, 5700 XT... That's kind of neck and neck. That's kind of like, that's apples to apples now. That's Granny Smith versus Red Delicious. That's no longer like sour, shitty, old, rotten apples versus like a fruit parfait. It's like they're not, you're not comparing the same things. Now you're kind of comparing the same thing. It's a weather of preference. It's really just preference. And Microsoft looked at that and just went like, no. <laughs> No, we're going to bring back PS2 memory cards. <laughs> and then imagine, because imagine also if you're watching this and you're, uh, you know, if you're a kid who, if you're someone who resells your systems, whether you're a parent who resells a system for the kids or has to help them with it, whether you're a kid who does it yourself, whether you're an adult, does it for yourself or does it for other people, imagine reselling this stuff. You know, how are you going to resell? Imagine somebody who buys two one terabyte things that are, say they're $100, right, for the one terabytes each. They've spent $800 on this system that has one controller, has two and a half to three terabytes worth of storage. You know, how does that resell? How does it resell? Does the Series X have to take a price cut because people aren't buying it compared to the PS5? Does it then have to come to that $499 price point that the PS3 had to come at? Well, then that system is automatically brand new, devalued by $200. If people aren't buying the systems and aren't playing a lot of games on there, or if, if people are buying a PC and a, uh, an Xbox so that they can play exclusives or whatever they want in the Xbox and then play other things on there, which is the dumb way you should really should have a PC and a PS5, um, but if they're going to do that and these start devaluing, what, what if, what if they come out with $150 for one terabyte and people don't buy them and people definitely don't buy the 
100 for uh, 500 gigabyte. What if they have to lower them by 25% each? Well, that day one, that, oh, this is a day one purchase for me is automatically devalued because the company blatantly made a stupid, greedy decision and you bought into it. So reselling these things is going to suck because you can't just put, oh, I originally paid $1,200 for the system and games and everything. It's like, I don't care. Buying that brand new, buying something equivalent that, to that today is only four or 500. I don't fucking care that you spent 1200 on everything. That's your fault. And it's what, it's what they're forcing. It's what they're doing. Oh, 